Hey everyone, so last year I was successful capturing some interesting trail cam footage of timber rattlesnakes at basking areas and also at den sites. The most noteworthy footage filmed at basking sites was this bobcat kit that nearly stepped on a rattlesnake and a close up and personal nocturnal combat dance between two males. Regarding one den site in particular, I was pleasantly surprised that one of the cams recorded a fair amount of basking during the month of November, which is usually considered an inactive period for these snakes. Broadly speaking, most timber rattlesnakes are sheltered in their dens between mid-October and mid-April. During mild winter weather, one or two timber rattlesnakes can be observed on the surface at some den sites, but overall this behavior is rare. Yet this gave me the idea to keep some trail cameras at three dens during the winter to record any potential winter basking. And as luck would have it, a black morph timber was caught on camera in December and a yellow morph in March at another den. As you can tell by the footage, this camera had been knocked over on its side, probably by one of the resident raccoons. Although I did feel fortunate that two timber rattlesnakes were filmed exhibiting rare behavior, the most notable footage actually were cameos from other wildlife visiting the dens while the blissfully unaware reptiles were deep into their winter slumber. Since I just mentioned raccoons, we will start with them. Here, for reasons I don't know, this guy attempts to squeeze down one of the tight den holes before backing out and hightailing it out of there. Inside this small cave, the entrance of the rattlesnake den, one raccoon isn't particularly happy with a visit from a member of its own species. Also in the small cave den, for some reason this raccoon isn't bothered by the infrared while messing around with this trail camera. But the puppy fear it shows when it spots the second cam is priceless. So I was pretty excited that bobcats were captured at all three sites. Although here at the first den, the bobcat is only sniffing the ground. While at the second site, we get a quick cameo of a beautiful specimen exiting the small cave. At the third site, this bobcat decides of all places to spray urine into the main entrance of the rattlesnake den. Also making appearances at all three den sites and numerous times were white-footed mice. Luckily for these small rodents, the timber rattlesnakes are too cold and lethargic to pose a predatory threat. However, there are plenty of predators active during the winter that the mice need to be concerned about. One of these is the weasel, a small but voracious hunter. So check this out. One weasel is actually successful dispatching one of the resident mice. Notice how it temporarily stashes its rodent prize as it presumably hunts for similar prey. A short while later, the weasel returns to reclaim its meal and exits stage left, the predator-prey scene enhanced by a large icicle. Well, that is it for now. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this short video, please consider subscribing.